As you'll soon see, history definitely repeats itself. Hi, my name is Joel Mark Harris. I am the author to The Ivory General, which is a historical fiction book that's set during the Second Punic War. And in this video, I want to examine all the causes that led up to the start of the Second Punic War. And hopefully I'm going to do it in under three minutes. So let's see how I do. Now, history buffs probably know the start of the Second World War. And you'll soon see that there's a lot of parallels between events leading up to the Second World War events leading up to the Second Punic War. Now, if I could take you back to the end of the First Punic War, Rome had forced this treaty onto the Carthaginians. And in this treaty, it stipulated that the Carthaginians were unable to raise an army. They could not have a navy. And probably the worst thing was that they had to pay war reparations to the Roman Republic for loss of life, for the economic hardships the Romans faced during the First Punic War. Now, of course, of course, this put depression onto the Carthage people as they had to pay all this money that they had made or they had stockpiled. Carthage, if you know anything about the city, was a very wealthy city-state before the First Punic War and was well known for their trade and their merchant ships and vessels. So this put a lot of hardship on not only the common Carthaginians but the nobility as well. But probably just as equally as difficult was the pride that was lost during this defeat and it was a bitter pill for the Carthaginians to swallow that they had to keep repaying this money to the victors, to the Romans. One of the generals who particularly felt that the Carthaginian politicians had let Carthaginians down was a general by the name of Hamilcar and he was the father of Hannibal who would go on to start the Second Punic War. So he decided that he needed to find a way to both expand the territory, the Carthaginian territory, while also gaining back or trying to rebuild the wealth of the Carthaginian city-state. So what he did is he traveled to Iberia, which is present-day Spain, and he founded a city there. At the time, Spain was very wealthy in minerals and they started mining the ground for specifically silver, and he actually was able to regain a lot of wealth really quickly and with that wealth he was able to hire mercenaries and soldiers from the Iberian Peninsula. The Romans looked at this and they realized that Carthaginians were rebuilding an army and they were expanding their territory and this was obviously something that greatly concerned them. And so Hamilcar died, he passed on all this wealth, mostly this hatred for the Romans, to his eldest son Hannibal. And so what he did was he basically expanded Carthaginian territory further and this got him in trouble with the Romans and eventually war broke out and that was the start of the Second Punic War. Definitely a very condensed version. There's a lot of other stuff that goes into it. Hopefully this gives you kind of a little bit of an insight. If you want to know more, I will put some links down in the comments below and you can check out some more resources about the start of the Second Punic War. Until next time, please like and subscribe for more content about the Second Punic War.